This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Woods versus Brooks. You all are engaged. You've been together eight years. But that wedding is on hold until you find out whether or not Miss Brooks is cheating. Tell me about how you're dealing with this swirl of emotions around these cheating allegations. Okay, Your Honor. Honestly, I'm a little bit confused. Um, I'm up and down with it because a part of me is like, since this is my best friend, she doesn't have a right to lie to me. She shouldn't have a reason to want to lie to me. Right. But I'm going to trust my inner tuition. And I'm just... I just need my answers. Just so I can properly move on with my life and just so we can be cleared of what's been having us at each other's necks. So you feel a level of confusion. Is that confusion emotional or, like, you just don't understand what's going on. This is my best friend, but we having all this stuff. I mean, what is that confusion like for you? It is very emotional. It's emotional over everything. Um, sometimes I find myself wanting to act out, but I know that that's not gonna solve anything. Mm -hmm. But as far as, like, my private cries, it's been happening a little bit more frequently. So it's just time for me just to know what's going on, so... And the source of all of this emotional upheaval is because you believe Miss Brooks is cheating. Correct. <laughs> All right. Miss Brooks, are you feeling this same emotional upheaval being accused of cheating in this relationship? No, sir, because at the same time, she... I don't know what's her problem. She always accusing me of something. Somebody can call me out. Oh, who is that? That's the next? No, we ain't finna do all that. So, all the cheating out, we ain't doing all that. I'm tired of it. I tell her, I want her to be my wife. That's my baby. That's my girl. Aww. But at the same time, I'm not finna keep going through that with her. That's my backbone. You know, that's my neck. I can't move my head without my neck. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's right. a new one. I can't there you do go. That. What she said, Cutler... What she said was... What she said was she's her neck. She can't move her head without her. her. Ah, that's strong. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna use that on you. I you didn't you, hear that I, here. I, yeah, I know you are. That's the thing. <laughs> so, the, the bottom line is you want answers today, too, just so you all can get this straight and you all can move forward together. Yes, okay. sir. I want all of that. Move past it. So, Ms. Woods, I mean, what's at stake here? I mean, your relationship, what's at stake? Oh, what's at stake is the relationship. She would not be my best friend. Everything will be limited. What she gets from me is gonna be limited. That communication, everything is gonna stop. So, this is the final straw. Up is. or down? In one way or the other? Yes, ma'am. So, I know that if you got all this going on, there was some kind of red flag that made you go, okay, wait a minute. That don't smell right. That yes. don't look right. What was that red flag for you? Okay, well, this was my first one. Okay. I seen an indication I, on Snapchat, basically, with her um, setting her chats to immediately delete. Oh. Behind certain females. Oh. So, when I asked her about it, she basically told me that it was nothing. And a part of me believed it, because I was like, you know, why now? Why would she do this now? If it's nothing going on, you can save those chats, because I saved my chats. What I'm going to save my chats yours. for? But it comes up, person sees it, and then it goes away. That's the whole that's, purpose But of that's it. if you want it to go away. Hey, but wait a minute. When did you start noticing these chats were up and down? Up and down? Is um, that... after she started working. Okay, about how long has that been? Um, it was maybe, like, five, six months ago. And that was one of those red flags that made you go, something's hmm. not right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, she's been sneaky with the snap. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, she is. <laughs> See? Did you just... Okay, I'm what? not... I can't with you today. I'm not... I'm, I'm not gonna do that. You are, and you will, and you're gonna like it. Oh! <laughs> okay! Okay! <laughs> it's gonna be said for a man who, you know, says... <laughs> It's gonna be like this, but we'll talk about that later. So, Ms. Brooks, why are you in such a hurry to uh, have erased what you've been uh, chatting back and forth with with people? But I haven't been erasing it. You can message a person back to go back to it, boom, it's gone. Are you denying that you changed the setting on your Snapchat so that your chats will delete immediately as opposed to 24 hours? Yes, sir, I'm denying it. It must have switched itself or something, because I ain't doing it. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so... so that's, I... that's how we doing this, Ms. Brooks? That's how we doing this? That's how it is. <laughs> it did itself. All okay. right. So, we went from red flags to a five-alarm fire. What was that that made it go to the five-alarm fire? Okay. She was working at a call center. I just so happened to see a message on the phone that said, good morning, babe. 
And it wasn't from you. And it was not from me. It should not have been from me because she wakes up to me. And where'd so, you see this message? It was on her phone, on the screen. Okay. On the lock screen. So I said, okay. So I asked, I said, where, did it, where is this coming from? She's like, oh, well, it's just this group of girls. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, but later on, maybe like a week later, I was sleeping, maybe around 9, 10 o'clock, I woke up because my phone was consistently going off. So I said, okay, well, maybe somebody's trying to get in contact with me. Let me check my phone. Okay. But it was actually the little girl who was calling her babe they put me in a group chat, basically letting me know that her and Nico was talking about how they was doing sex positions at work, how they was planning on having threesomes. Okay, so when you referred to Nico, that's Miss Brooks, correct? Correct. Okay, and you didn't get an invite. Oh, I wasn't... Go- oh, no. Okay, I'm just making... Okay, okay. <laughs> well, we gotta know. We gotta know. Oh, no. We gotta know. So, Miss Brooks, seemed like everybody was in on a plan except Miss Woods. Uh, not the girlfriend, neither. Not the girl, girlfriend. Uh, I don't do all that. But... But, the... but you're putting in this group chat... I didn't even know nothing about the group chat till I woke up. Oh, I got it. So, are you concerned about this young lady in particular, or are there other women that you're concerned about? Oh, she's the least. It's another one. Oh, she's not even really on the radar? No. no. Mm-mm. Okay, well, who is yeah. on the radar? All right, so maybe like two weeks ago, I got a little message basically with a young lady letting her presence be known to me and letting me know that her and my girlfriend, my woman, are talking. Also with the indication of sexual relations. So while this message is sliding into your DMs, you worried about her sliding in somebody else's bed? That was my main part, because for one, if it's something sexual, that means y'all are building something. And so why would you want to come to me with that, but then you're going to the next person? See, now I have an issue. I don't care about what y'all are saying with words, but when it becomes physical, I have a problem. And now it's officially my situation. Ms. Brooks, who is this woman who slid into your fiance's DMs? <clears throat> she a friend. She a friend. She a friend. Let me put it like that. What kind of friend? How close of a friend? A friend with benefits. <laughs> okay, does that mean what it means in, to me? Because in my world, a friend with benefits is somebody that you're having sex with. Who's a friend? Yeah. <laughs> so, is, 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 is that... No, that's not what that means in no, your world? No, no. Okay. Okay, so what benefits does this friend have? Like 401k, you got hell. <laughs> what you got? She's just a friend. I'm like, because okay. the only other benefits I know about Mr. Keller, like 401k, yeah. short-term disability, okay. you know, with the little goose, I mean, all that. So she's just a friend. I mean, what kind of benefits she having with you? I mean, if I'm going through something, I can go to her and, you know, we'll talk about it pretty uh, much. And how I... else does she console you when you're going through something? Um, just talk about it. Pretty much. Pretty much. I'm just talking. Pretty much. Chit chat. Uh huh, Miss <laughs> Brooks. Are you coming clean with us? Are you being okay? Yes, sir. All right. So there's Miss Woods' side, there's Miss Brooks' side, and there's the friend with benefits side, and she is here. Oh. Rob, would you bring her in? <laughs> that was some kind of entrance you made there, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Could you please state your name for the court record? Yes, ma'am. My name is Emmeria Cooper. Do you know Miss Brooks? Yes, I do know Miss Brooks. You do know Miss Brooks? Yes, ma'am, I do. All right. How do you know her? Well, that's my girlfriend. What? Your girlfriend, as you all are in a relationship. Yes, sir. Did you know that Miss Brooks was engaged to Miss Wood? No, ma'am, I did not. Did you know she was in a relationship with Miss Wood? No, ma'am, I did not. Oh, no. All right. So you thought you two were exclusive? Yes, I did. I thought. So Miss uh, Brooks has described you all's relationship as friends with benefits. Would you agree with that description? <laughs> Clearly not. <sighs> What, friends with all types of benefits. And sexual benefits? Yes. Full sexual benefits? Full sexual benefits. 
and you didn't have to wait any kind of like probation period. Y'all have gotten to that point <laughs> of benefit. <laughs> No, not at all. I didn't have to wait at all. I asked her specifically, y'all in a relationship? Let me know. She told me no. The relationship was broke off. Did She's expressed this to me numerous of times. And I asked her last night, before I get embarrassed, let me know so mm-hmm. I can know, so I won't feel embarrassed. But she neglected to let me know. She didn't neglect. She lied. Well, she lied. <laughs> Is it safe to say, or am I wrong, that you were falling in love with Miss Brooks? It is safe to say that. So you were falling in love with her? I was. Because she's telling you, hey, I'm single, able to mingle, and I want to be with you. She told me she wanted us to move together. How was that possible? Because the apartment that I get next week, she in her. That's the apartment she said she wanted me to be in. Oh, boy. I just want both of you. No, but you're not gonna get it. Better, no, no, she better hope that we don't end up together just to play the game back on you. Move past it. Oh, that's dirty. dirty. That's dirty and it's wrong. <laughs> and, I... and until you realize that, you don't even need to be in a relationship. You don't need to be out here hurting anybody else. <laughs> if you wanted both of them, why didn't you come clean first to your fiance to say, when look, I I'm not her. happy in this relationship? Especially since she's asked you, what are you doing? What are you doing? That was your time to say, look, I'm not happy in this relationship. Why didn't you come clean then? I don't know. Why would you let me come in front of all these people and do that when I've been asking you? Because you can't handle the truth. How can I not handle the truth when I handled it the fact that you came across her and I kept messing with you? You don't get to make that choice of what she can handle. You don't get to do that. And that's a weak excuse. Miss Cooper, now that you've seen all this, what are you gonna do? I'm done. I'm done. I just want both of you. All right, you know what? I, I, I can't. I, and I don't want to. And I don't have to, more importantly, because this is my place. But Miss Brooks, let me just talk to you. This young lady clearly loves you. She is passionate about you. Y'all been together for eight years. And, and she is devastated. She is hurt. She is angry. And all you got is what I want and you grinning about it. It's not funny. It's not cute. This girl has tears in her eyes. This young lady's embarrassed. Cause she's like, I didn't know you were engaged. And here's the thing, and if I said it once, I've said it a hundred times. It is okay to say, I want to play the field. Yeah. But you as an adult person engaging in adult activities need to be grown enough to tell the people you with, this is how I'm living, do you agree? Yeah. Now, yeah. once that person says, yeah, I'm in, I understand, I'm gonna do me too, go. But you're well, giving you... her no choice. Yeah. When's the last time you all have been intimate? Last night before she took me to dinner and right before she went to the hotel with Miss Woods. Wow. Last night? Yes. Before, first before she took me to get my nails and toes done, she took me to dinner and then right before she, she went to the She did the same hotel. with me. So last... Last night? Last night. Yeah. You last night, tired. twice no, with you. That, that's last nasty. night, twice. That is nasty. Last night, twice. Last twice night, with you. Twice with you. And, and once with you? Oh, uh, more than once. But I mean, it, uh, it's nasty. Oh it's nasty. Miss Brooks, I am at a loss for words. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with something real quick. I. Okay. Well, let's just get let's, let's that out if it's true. Okay. Were you with Miss Cooper last night two times? Yes, ma'am. Were you with your fiance last night? Yes, ma'am. So you were with both of these women the same night having sex? Yes, ma'am. The day before you coming in here talking about you want to save this relationship. Yes, sir. You don't want to save this relationship. No, come on, say it with me. I do. I want both of them. Uh-uh. No. What is going through your spirit as you listen to this? Because I know what's going through mine, and I ain't, I ain't in a relationship with her. 
Um, I can't say everything. Yeah, I know no. that's not appropriate right yes, now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But ma I know one thing. You got me looking stupid because you got me almost beefing with somebody that I shouldn't even be beefing with yeah. while you out here being nasty. Yeah. Like, how dare you do something like that? And, and both of us up here. I, you know what? Let me just talk to you, Miss Woods, and you too, Miss Cooper. You all are lovely young ladies. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel terrible for you because you got years invested in this. But it is what it is. And you are young enough and strong enough to move on to bigger and better. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. And you just need somebody to help you figure it out. Whatever it is you want to do, you need help figuring that out. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy and a healthy relationship. Court is adjourned.